what is going on y'all what is going on <laughs> thank you for choosing once again to click on the channel this is oya oy i'm simply here to do my job get the messages to the collective how are you guys how is everybody thank you everybody that has been liking sharing subscribing supporting the channel welcome all new subscribers Okay, you guys, so um, I was just getting us together, and um, the first message that I had received was about um, something having to do with Social Security. So, you know, I, you know me, Inspector Gadget, do -do 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 -do. I was just um, looking in on a lot of some things and, you know, realizing how many people can um, draw like different social security checks um and something had came up about in a a widow a widower's fund and um you know children that have lost parents um an orphan fund so I'm like okay I instantly thought about it and I went I went back to how I felt you know, going through certain things and then having a child, my initial reaction and response was, you know, if something ever happened to me, I, I, I wanted certain members of my family. Like, I would always be like, you know, I would want y'all to take care of my child. But going through what I have and realizing everything, you know, there is no one on earth that I would feel comfortable leaving my child with. You know, it's another reason why a lot of us parents, even if we experience, you know, something with a narcissist or uh, the courts or, you know, CPS or anything like that, you'll see that it will bring you out of your element to the point where you will start to believe that maybe, you know, um, it may be best if your child is with someone else, but know that that is a part of deception. So I was thinking about it. I'm like, as, as far as like foster parents and all that, we know that they get certain you know, different little perks here and there for taking in children. But I'm like, so this is why some people will create narratives and set things up because there's actually funding now here for people that have lost someone. And I, I don't know why I instantly picked up that somebody, you know, not only was they child taken out for a setup or a check, but they wanted this person's child in order to have access to um, either another another amount of money or income. So I'm like, okay, this really cannot be going on. So, you know, I, I got winner by default. A lot of us, you know, have experienced certain things where you were not expected to survive or thrive during something that you've experienced. I think what we are seeing as a collective and as a whole that people are just starting to be more real about what they have experienced and what they went through. And when you understand like the um, MK Ultra or somebody clicking off, you'll see that in that time, this person may have experienced so much trauma where, yes, they, they did just give up on everything. Or, you know, if it wasn't dealing with some, some sort of magic or somebody, you know, doing something over that person, somehow this person is hung into, you know, I have to make some type of blood sacrifice or I have to do something against someone else in order for me to prosper. Somewhere along the line, a lot of us have got the wrong fucking idea. You know, people out here really you know, stunting and flexing and buying, taking trips and buying new cars and new cell phones, paying bills and shit, being able to get phone cards to stock and everything just because they have signed up against someone else. Not knowing that that is the deception. Everyone has a, a fair chance of doing something to better themselves, especially if now you've been made aware of what has been playing out. I can most definitely guarantee that if you are still plotting against somebody, then your life is going downhill. 
because it's not really how it's supposed to go. You know, so I get that a lot, of, like, a lot of different people are going to be winner by default. And I was um, continuing to, you know, look through certain stuff, and I had got a uh, cot. And if you're not familiar, this is basically, you know, the soul. I got winner of cat. So someone's actually winning their soul. Okay, so someone's winning their soul, and this is going to be, you know, whatever it is, you're coming into your own being, or you coming into being of God. Okay, so it's also said that it describes the story of the coming of age of a young man and a young woman through their encounters with love, conflict, and duality of God. The fire that can unite or separate, destroy, or illuminate. Okay, so someone could be actually coming into union with someone else and you guys are encountering whatever it is that you need to conquer this time around, clearing out that karmic debt, you know, healing your childhood wounds, dealing with issues, speaking on something that could be going on, um, you know, not just around you, but within your family or within your own household. OK, a lot of us are starting to see it. It, it takes one person to stop and be that man that looks in the mirror. OK, some of us, you know, you're learning to look at yourself. What am I doing that is causing all this havoc? You know, a lot of us have experienced things that we should not have experienced, but it may have simply been due to hanging on to people or things that are not good for us. And trust me, I get it because for the longest, I'm like, you know, what is this still going on? But if you're not made aware of what a person could be using against you, know that you are in a salad warfare, you know, and, and it's a good thing to be able to experience it, heal through it and get out of it. So you can, you know, hex, help the next person. I'm not hex. So somebody's still trying to like speak against somebody or hex somebody. Like, and and the way that people are doing things now, where it's so, you know, out front and the front line, but you're doing the wrong things. Like, why is nobody really going against what it's supposed to be? But you'll see that there will be consequences to people that continue to, you know, go on they go on their road against you. But we're gonna see what's going on with this winner by default. Like I said, you could simply just be going, growing into your own here. Yeah, getting a new lease on life or moving. Someone is moving away, getting a new lease. Um, you could have been ex uh, experiencing something. And this involved, you know, extending yourself. And I had to learn that because I'm like, you know, my love for some reason has always been an extension. I've always, you know, gave out some type of way. And even even if it wasn't always a uh, financial or material, it was energetically or it was through, you know, my intellect or music, whatever it is that's attached to you. You have to learn to not always overextend that, especially with someone you just now coming into contact with. And I say it all the time. I, I respect someone that I know, you know, what I'm saying that is not going to be a good a good piece of the puzzle within my own my own story, but someone to actually, you know, play a role and not be that person, that's where we have a problem. So somebody is learning to take it easy on themselves. Yeah, because somebody was taking it easy on somebody and you should have been like, oh, with this person. And you know what I'm saying? Some of us, you know, don't get ahead of yourself because we done, we done been with some mud ducks and some, some trash and stuff like that. People, and this is not necessarily the looks, it's just the character of a person. And we stay for some type of reason thinking, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this person, will be, you know, because we all learn, we all love each other. But it, at the end of the day, you need to learn how to take it easy. Somebody just needs to take it easy on themselves. Yeah, something about as is. So this could have been somebody that was always hanging around or always around you. And you learning to let go of somebody or something because you know that on this next level that it's not going to be you know, what you're supposed to have. This is a contract extension. So somebody could have actually been trying to, you know, get you to take it easy on them so they can have more time to do something here. Mm. Yeah, so this could be something coming up on somebody's hard drive here. This is, I don't know why I'm getting like, this is even evidence. It could have been evidence of, um, involving some type of property or a home here. Yeah, this could be out in Arizona, so I don't know who this is for.
Yeah, and this is like somebody is just constantly moving or working all the time. And this is why I said when somebody just takes this rest or whatever this is, maybe you will see that you thought this was a new, but this is a ooh. Like somebody thought somebody was new here. Yeah, so this could have actually been somebody's fiance or somebody that they got with um, within three months here. So let's see if we can get some confirmation, see what's going on. Because I don't know why this is, this somebody is coming up, but somebody could have been with somebody. You was engaged soon, like it happens, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so something's coming, Somebody, something's being revealed to somebody. I don't know why I'm getting that this could actually be something on a hard drive pertaining to somebody in um, their mate's computer. Okay, so somebody's going to find something out about their mate here on a hard drive or something's being revealed here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it, this could be something that's being revealed about a, a same-sex relationship within somebody's. So what? why are we, why are we going? Some, some, maybe somebody really needs to know. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this is is getting packed. Yeah. So maybe this is what what truth needs to come in in order for somebody to move forward. And when I tell you I'm all for it, like I'm it's it could be so simple, but we make it hard because, you know, we we don't want to believe certain things or whatever. And it's why it's always good to to reveal everything about yourself to your partner when you first get with this person if this person is you know coming in and maybe you starting a life with somebody it's best that both parties be honest because when i tell you when you have you know shit that it hasn't let go and different lug nuts and shit falling in the background of your relationship and people are already involved with your people and you got people involved with you that you didn't know that was involved and then but you still was involved with somebody else that you may have been involved with three four years ago but this person's still hanging on to your energy and then they talking to one of your friends and then all this shit you know what i'm saying when all this shit kicks back up it's it's real dusty and we're trying to get clean out here. Like, we're trying to be clean and re renewed so we can be used for the kingdom. Like, it's just what it is. I don't think people want to believe that a lot of this shit that's going on is really simply so we can just move forward and, and, and build and be great. You know, it's just all it is to it. A lot of us have been shitted on and it's time to clean up. But somebody was getting packed here. This is a fudge packer. Somebody's packing the same sex. Um, and this is this is gonna actually be revealed. Not to say I'm so light about it, but this is gonna be revealed on somebody's hard drive. And maybe this is why somebody needs to, within their own skin, love who you are. And I, and trust me, I get it. It's this is why a lot of times, you know, especially if you're dealing with, you know, beauty spells or different magic being thrown on you, or you know, due to what you've experienced um, in your childhood, you may have picked up a bad diet or didn't understand the importance of knowing what type of food you can eat with the blood type or however it is for you, you know, you have to, to learn what's best for you in order to love your skin. Because I have been there to the point where I'm like, huh, just frustrated with everything. And, you know, you take it out on yourself. Okay. And sometimes taking it out on yourself includes you being around people that you know, not good for you. Okay. Cause a lot of us are finding, a, finding a way to, um, it's almost like making the great escape, but you're not actually getting anywhere because you want to still be around. You want to be around somebody that you know, you know, at first to me, maybe in 2018, that's, that shit was still being able to shake because, you know, I was still on my, like, okay, if things are going on. Let me try to change my life. But now you're saying you can't even make the wrong moves when it comes to who you're going to spend your time with. People are, are really checking out and they, they, they losing it. So they were showing who they really are, but we somehow always stayed around certain people just because we thought, you know, things would be renewed with a person. But I'm telling you the levels to the trauma and things that people have experienced until they actually take their own steps to getting closer to what God needs them to, them to get to this time. Like you can't carry nobody. This is this is you know, this is not the non carry season. We literally, you know, we got to treat them like the pandemic babies because literally they came out. They don't even need to be held. They walking already when they come out. They walking out the coochie just like you know we ready. This is how you got to let people be, especially at they certain age. Like I don't. I don't this is why we got, now we start to see that age is not a number. It's just a number. 
The age is just a number because until somebody is mentally equipped with the knowledge that they need to have for their self, they are out here like little babies. Little Wayne's little baby, little, little. Everybody got a little in their name until they realize that they not little. They're, they're 50, 60, 70 and still doing the same thing. Yeah, this shit's crazy, I know. But you, we learn to just love our skin. So somebody within their skin is learning to, you know, this is me. Whatever it is. Her skin, nails, whatever it is you want to do. Maybe you need to have some type of treatment here. Somebody could have been um, getting some type of spa treatment. Okay, somebody's actually seeing that, well, you know, maybe you're starting to see that the red flags that somebody you had a long time ago is starting to come out because this is almost like um, you witnessing your partner get some type of skin treatment or some treatments. And I'm telling you, you can't place everything to, not everything can be placed inside of a gender, but you seeing that maybe, you know, whatever this person is doing at the spa is, is revealing to you that this person likes the same sex here. I don't know how this even went this way. I'm trying to, you know, we trying to get some new shit going. And it's just like, well, somebody needs to know. It's time for you to take care of yourself. So you got care again. Somebody could be getting their feet done, their hair done, their skin, their nails, you know. And if that's what you need to do in order to pick yourself up, that's what it is. What is this about this feet? Somebody could have a real, you know, a real feet fetish here. Hmm. So what's this uh payday? Yeah, this person only cheats with the same sex because this person gets high or they they get high together. Okay, so I don't know if somebody needs to hear that, but yeah, somebody actually you know do what they do together. This is payday. It's payday junkie car here. Oh my goodness, yeah, there's a lot going on. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know why we busting pipes. Okay, so it's, yeah, somebody, please, somebody's doing something to somebody's car again. I don't know why this is like uh, finding out something. And you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Like, don't play with people. Reveal what it is you need to reveal. Like, you know what I'm saying? If we did some, we all done experienced some crazy shit. Like some, some shit that we probably wouldn't have experienced if we wasn't, you know, but it's just what it is. Within your skin, be, be who you are. Because it, it's just it, it's just not, everything is just what it is now. You know? Got backpackers, fudge packers. It's, it's a lot going on. Mm-mm. So those that know, know that you, somebody thought they had one. Okay, so this is, oh boy, this could even be, somebody is setting somebody up with a, um, you, you know, somebody of the same sex here, but this person don't look this way. So this is coming out again. Whoever this person is is selling uh, the, the fake news, fake boobs, fake everything. This is just what it is. This person is choosing to be another person on the outside, but, you know, they're probably still hanging in, inside their pants here. So somebody was involved with somebody's uh, grandmother or something here. Something was going on within somebody's family. Whatever this is, this could have even been somebody's mother. Um, there was something that was canceled here. So whether this was supposed to be somebody picked up or something going on, this was supposed to be out in the news where, and now these people are getting investigated, okay? So now something had happened. Whatever this was, this was a kidnapping. Somebody was either trying to plot a kidnapping or they was doing something with whoever this same-sex person is yeah because you got love from an elder somebody was uh, canceling the alert yeah somebody done slipped up here okay somebody could have slipped up with um this merge probably did some uh fake paperwork here yeah trying to get somebody away from their child here so this is somebody is like analyzing what they did over somebody's whole situation or their life here. Yeah, because you got incorrect information, body camera footage. Um, somebody was trying to get away from something. So let's see. Yeah, it could have been a fire sign involved. Okay, so you got um, somebody, yeah, somebody's mother. Okay, somebody that, that wanted to be exalted over everybody uh, could have been given some incorrect information to an officer here. 
They could have actually been trying to set somebody up with a pickup with a um, transsexual. Or there's some type of setup with a transsexual here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got backed by a bully's bullshit. Okay, so yeah, somebody could have been getting bullied by somebody. This could have actually been somebody that was uh dressed as attorney yeah whoever this is is a uh, bad you got mommy out here three times okay so you got Mm-mm-mm. so somebody was upset with somebody's gifts or somebody's spiritual gifts here okay whoever this is this feminine energy could have been a with a masculine um that was already involved in doing something against somebody to get them kidnapped. This could have even been trying to set them up to be taken out her. And imagine somebody faking a cry. You know what I'm saying? Like something happens to you. I When I rewind certain things back and I'm like, you know, as many people as you've seen in most, in most situations, somebody that is doing all the theatrics and that, Oh my God, I can't believe it. You know, it's it's real unfortunate that a lot of these people have had some type of play in the setups anyway. So there's a lot of background action that's going on. Whoever these bullies are, I've been doing a lot of bullshit. It's coming up. And this was all about some spiritual gifts or some type of gifts. And and this was, you know, from God here. Like, y'all too old to be doing this shit. Yeah, you got land, farm, life, fashion purchase. Okay, so somebody could have um, stole somebody's property. They could have even stolen um idea for somebody's clothing here. They could have actually purchased all of somebody's clothing line. I don't know why I'm getting this. This could actually be somebody that makes like dresses or ball gowns or some type of prom dress. They could have actually purchased every dress just to steal the idea or steal whatever this is. This is how this is how crazy this is. Yeah. You got a friend of a friend. So this could have actually been somebody that was prom queen or somebody that got voted for prom queen. Somebody has been working with somebody in the background against the empress here. So you got a friend of a friend, somebody that was prom queen, your mama three times, um, whoever this masculine is. Yeah, a lot of people giving, giving away incorrect information. Blow by blow every detail. Okay, so blow by blow every detail. There's a friend of a friend that has been lying. This is somebody don't even know the truth. And somebody has the right to know the truth. Okay, so the truth is coming out about something. Whoever this friend is that's involved, um, would constantly blow by blow her. Yeah, you got the winner of your soul. Yeah, this could have even been twin flame relationship. Exes and their exes. Mm. So somebody could even be dealing with um the end of uh some type of trauma here. Somebody is actually dealing with uh exposure to like death, serious injury. Somebody's having nightmares about something that they did to somebody being real cruel here. Oh man, yeah. Whoever this person is could have actually did something to somebody. This is literally either hitting somebody over and over again or hitting somebody in the head here. There's some type of cold case here. Um, whoever it was, the exes and their exes, somebody's miserable ass mom, a friend of a friend, somebody that could have actually been set up by somebody that was doing something um, with the clothing line here. Wow. Yeah, connected by six cords. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out. This is the mother and ex and their ex. You got a friend of a friend. Yeah. That's a, that's a whole chain. So it's a, it's a lot of connections here. Yeah, doing something to get somebody's house in here. So like I said, somebody was doing something to get somebody out of their house or somebody is going to be getting out of the, uh, out of a house. So you got it backed up. One by default here. Yeah, they asked in the background doing spell work. And that's the thing. I wasn't even going to say the word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hate saying the word. If, if we just naturally fuck ups and we've going through life fucking up and, and and learning to do things differently then that's fine but if somebody's doing some spell work in the background that is the bogus bullshit that has to be revealed now so it's a lot of exposure coming to these exes different people that are stressed out here 
they miserable. A lot of people can't even heal through their own thing because they're too busy worried about either two people or keeping you from whatever this opportunity or whatever this money or whatever this land is. It's like we get tired of seeing this over and over again. But yes, yeah, somebody's ex is in the background still doing spell work over somebody's home. Okay, so it's, it's somebody's still doing a lot of spell work over somebody's home and trying to get somebody traumatized by something that they've either experienced already or you are, um, you were seriously injured through something. Okay, and this is just like, you know, whatever exposure. And I'm gonna tell you, I have been near death so many times. And ironically, you know, in within the times, I didn't have that feeling of fear because it's like I've, I've, brushed across it so much that I knew it was something that, that, that was coming against my life as a whole. Like I've learned to see the big picture here, but it's like, once you get exposed to it and, and you are actually, you receive mercy or you get through it and you recognize your strength there, that exposure can leave behind some residue of like, you know, trauma. We're dealing with things and people believe that it's funny, but you know, we, people have children. They have, a, this is like a, the human experience has been like, it went from a raw delicacy, delicacy to just like, you know, everybody's just eating slop or this is chow. People have took whatever it is that they have learned or, you know, stolen or did whatever to go against others. And the, th the mission you're supposed to be doing here is learning to, experience love and heal through it so this is why i don't see why a lot of people are continuing to do what they do because it's it's gonna be winners by default simply because we don't have to do anything but call on our creator and our ancestors are not playing i think a lot of people are recognizing that now this is it right here we in the middle of it <laughs> there is nothing else that needs to be done it's just a lot of people are you know still waking up and we we have to be awoken together that's all it is to it. But yeah, there was a cover up here. Somebody with this, this was actually a plot to um, take somebody completely out. Or if you haven't been taken out, they wanted this to be covered up um, as like some type of mental illness or some type of diagnosis here because PTSD is out here. So somebody could actually be experiencing this now because they wanted somebody else to experience it. And it's the thing, when you when you experience this trauma and, and you go through it and you don't heal, it actually sits in and it can rot from the inside out. And I, when I tell you, after, you know, all the experiences and then you had to get to that point where you are so solid in your spiritual, your spiritual family, your team and who you are that these certain things that you have experienced, they don't threaten your future. Because I'm telling you, it... It is mind boggling to me how much we have set and coped and dealt with the, the, the trauma from people in their stupid ass spell work or whatever they have said negative against or whatever plots that they have tried to do. Like it, it literally can make you sick if you sit and think about it because you're like, why are we not taking the uh, human life seriously? Why are we not caring about others and their children or how life, I don't want to, I don't want my child to be inside of a world created with so much madness that he doesn't get to experience what God has for them. Shame on y'all. This is why it's judgment time. A lot of shit is going on. A lot of shit is going on. And in the time of, you know, a lot of, of, of people healing and recognizing what their certain triggers are. You could be seeing that, you know, the nightmares or different things, uh, anger that may kick up into you out of out the blue is from your realization of the things that you have experienced. So you can experience it. And who, who cares how anybody feels? There is no, to me, there is no, uh, let's see, let's, there is no particular way that, a person can tell you how to feel after experiencing having dark magic or be having murder plots or, you know, fraud against you, identity theft, hacking, stalking, harassing, whether it's spiritually, um, they're different, you know, wound tampering, whatever a person experienced, nobody on this planet earth can tell you how you can feel about that or how you can process, process that pain to get it out. People have been doing the most and wonder why now their life is falling the fuck apart. Imagine running around trying to pick up pieces that don't belong to you. 
this is why it's important for you to call your energy back call your power back get up find something to do on a daily because a lot of people will try to could you know continue to profit off of you not doing what you're supposed to be doing imagine how many people you fed with your energy we'll, we'll, we'll ask again who are you feeding with your energy today whatever company whatever video you watch whatever you do who are you allowing access to you i mean this is what it is a lot of people are frauds and it's coming out i don't think they want to you know they want to keep holding on to shit or trying to tie shit up and put duct tape on it and you know super glue and bubble gum but the shit is over it's a wrap bag it up so you got love is kind okay you see it ain't no love guys who where is it at who is who is continuing to express how they feel in the middle it could be you simply you and i was actually thinking about that last night when i was just laying there and i'm like as a human nobody can can you know actually um sum up the word love I, for, the, for the longest, I was so sick of hearing it because it always came from the mouths of snakes or it always came from somebody that I know, you know, secretly a turn their nose up or have something to say about me behind my back. But, oh, they love you. Y'all have took that love word too far. We are not letting our hearts get us killed. And I done told you. It, it didn't did too much. You learn to love yourself. And when you have that love for yourself, and you receive that love from the most high, and you become one with who you are, then you, your vessel will be strong enough to hold the capacity to even think of what love is. Because I'm telling you, you will be talked about, ridiculed, persecuted, plot against. You, everything will happen against you simply because of your heart and who you are and what you, you know, just what it is. I don't know why shit is like the way it is. But I refuse to be hard and broke and stiff neck like you guys. All the ones that continue to go against people simply because they don't know how to open up their heart to God or, or read a scripture or something. Y'all want to carry the Bible around and, you know, go to get dressed up to go make perform a show at church. But nobody's really showing love. And there's nobody that's really offering assistance. It's just more of, you know, trying to make shit look, look good. I'm so over that shit. They know how to make it look good. But it's like, we're moving on. When is my default? That's all it is to it. People can be miserable in their own miserable ass hell that they created for themselves. God is love, and I don't know who they've been loving on, who they've been texting to, but it ain't been reaching my father. Oh, my mother, they crazy. Yeah, talking about clearing. Now they're trying to clear some debts with 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 uh sage, and they they doing uh different little routines and rituals, thinking that they're getting closer to God. You still don't know. Your little 15 minutes of fame that did the most for you. Go ahead and take that shit. It's not going to clear out this karma, this debt you got. Yeah, somebody could have even been us. Somebody, what is somebody doing? Pepper spray? Somebody was pepper spray here. And that's another thing. If you, y'all have been seeing what's been going on. So, you know, I ain't trying to ramble this read, but obviously it's on my spirit to say, continue to protect yourself. You know, if you have that, if you have mace, whatever it is that you got, you better have it, you know, because it, it, this is almost like the energy of somebody always wants to, if you around, somebody wants to have that, that time in your face. Yeah, they sell a lot of things that you can put on your keychain or anything to get, you know, yeah, because you got some at a gas station coming up. <clears throat> Something could have happened at a gas station. And they only know that the, everybody was involved in it. Yeah, everybody getting ready to get disrupted, though. It's like they, they're not getting no sleep. So whatever whatever happens, everybody's about to get woke up with the truth in a case here. Something's getting revealed. Some could have even been caught on body camera or some type of footage here. Mm-mm. Yes, a, a case coming up about uh, a hanging, too. I don't know why this is coming up. This could have been a cold case. I'm not sure if it's current. You know, we hope not. In 2022, why are we, why are we even still listening or hearing about the certain things that we are? When I tell you, they scared to death. They know what's up. <laughs> and you guys know. A lot of people know what is going on. 
So what's this? Yeah, it could have been a cousin that was involved with a a, a spray. He might have been a sprayer here. So you got the exes and exes, more exes, their friends of a friend. Somebody doing something here. Could have been involved in a um doing some type of music. Somebody was trying to get into either a clothing game or music. We got somebody that's doing something for some fame here. Once again, I I don't know. Yeah, could have been doing something against somebody's children. They had some type of assistance, though. Yeah, this was a masculine energy that's being identified. They could actually be identified by somebody's child here. So somebody's child could actually uh, identify somebody that did something to someone. Yeah. And and this is this is who it is, though. The, the hey, look at me. You know, look at me feeding somebody. Or look at me uh, uh, doing right by somebody. Or look at me minding my business. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like well, since when and, and and you know it's cool what people do i can i can deal with a hey look at me head mug instead of somebody that's like hey watch me watch this other person do something with their life like this this is the thing you know so somebody's navigating through some type of bullshit in this physical body it's just all it is to it went by default because somebody here is getting involved with this case they it's, it's information and evidence already coming up. Yeah, you got calm waters. Some, something's getting ready to come in. And something is slowing down at the same time. So, yeah. Say vengeance is the Lord's. Vengeance is the Lord's. <clears throat> so, you got somebody that's uh, um, overanalyzing. Okay, somebody that's always looking through something like at a logical standpoint. This is also somebody that could be into theology or whatever it is they they're trying to study the nature of god and and re religious beliefs okay so it, the way that i had <clears throat> the way that i had understood it was it's best to get your personal connection because no one can tell you you know what you've experienced you know that you you know okay and, and everybody knows differently now, whether it is shown to you, whether you hear it, whether you feel it or whatever, you know, okay? But it's someone here that's always trying to figure out what is going on between somebody and their connection with God. Yeah, somebody's doing a lot of different spell work using sperm. And this, whoever this masculine energy is, he can do like ding dong dick spells. Somebody that's always like, you know, they always fucking to get something out of nothing, or they're always doing something with somebody else's spouse in order to, like, harvest some type of energy. Somebody's getting away from, like, all this stuff that's going on. And I'm like, wow. Because I can relate. You just be like, what is going on? Whoever committed a sin. So, this is somebody that has actually will, like, use some type of um, sex work during their practices of spirituality you know people do what they do but whoever this masculine energy is is very smart i'm gonna tell you this man is intelligent but he's doing things you know sexually <clears throat> cloaked cloaked with the spirit here okay they could also be using somebody's um uh, burden of the a uh, sin or something to keep someone as some type of slave so this is this is a form of enslavement okay if someone is judging you or or um saying something to you that they get a word from god and they feel like that you need to change your life and the way you can do that is by nibbling on my crotch that we know that that's not that's not how things work okay a lot of these masculines are they under judgment now they've been doing the most you know we ladies feel like they was doing something for a long time but i'm telling you these, these men which is these 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 men priests the way they do things mentally, and it's almost as a, a setup of, you know, you I am God. You know, I can I can kind of see where you're going with this, but it, it, me personally, <laughs> you know, we all gotta. I, I love my heavenly Father. I don't, I don't know why everybody feel like it's a game or it's like, you know, God don't have a wrath, but it's what it is. Somebody is can, on the healing journey here. Okay, this is somebody that's healing while they're helping. Um, 
somebody was like sleeping on they self okay so you need to wake up here once again we got somebody is actually winning by default and this is because of all these spells that was going on with with oh so yeah somebody's aunt and mother could have been sleeping with their exes here they was doing a lot of dick work this is basically sleeping with who you sleeping with um pillow talking about you doing saying different things of your name trying to hang on in somebody's energy using whatever sins that was you know that you may have committed against you um trying to keep somebody from feeling like they're not an actual healer here or helping um what is somebody in the energy of you know constantly drinking or somebody's just constantly drinking here yeah and this was simply because you living amongst those who first so they're gonna talk about it they're gonna deny it they're gonna despise whatever talent you have because they don't have the knowledge or the power to even understand what it is that you could be doing so you leave them where you found them and where they left you a lot of people left you in the dirt and dust in the mud and that's just what it is you know you keep on moving forward so we got village collective community yeah somebody's moving into um a community of people that maybe you're going to help or they're going to help you here. Yeah, somebody was like sleeping with the plug and keeping them connected and plugged in with all the information about you. But it's like, what are y'all doing? It's a practice to be able to not, you know, really hurt somebody or be in the energy of, you know, bullshit. Somebody's like practicing something every day, though. What are they doing every day? They could actually be in a trailer or a mobile home, moving around. Yeah, somebody's really old. This is somebody that's like 70 years old. They got some, they got something under their house here. Oh my, oh my God, and it came out. <laughs> Whoever this is, yes, has constantly been doing this spell work. Oppressing everybody, trying to cur crush and burn people. Yeah, everybody's getting questioned here. So you get who? Oh my god! It was. It's gonna be like animals. Whatever they doing is disgusting. You got somebody that's being questioned about it. Somebody is already being questioned about something. Yeah, this person was doing this with all this just for plastic surgery or to steal this idea. It's a lot going on. Yeah, watching movies, making movies on their smartphones. So, so whoever these people are, they connected at least by six people. They could be doing a lot of work on people's phones here. Yeah, they're constantly watching people more than they watching TV. What the freak? What the freak? Yeah, break every chain off your life. This is uh somebody that could have actually uh been within a family. And this person had a child real, real young. So the goal was to keep some type of spell work over somebody in the family here. This is different. Yeah, this is also emotional incest. Somebody that's constantly like leaning or projecting on your energy or needing your energy, trying to hang on to you, but don't really mess with you. This is literally somebody that won't physically be there to support or you know, do something, but they want to hang on to you spiritually. It, to me, it's mind-boggling. Who the hell does this? You know what I'm saying? If I don't like you, I'll let you go. Have your best life. You know, when people want to, you know, t talk shit about you, pick you apart, but then go and be you somewhere else and think that they ain't going to be spiritually tapped on the shoulder like, hey, um, you remember that time? Like, it's time. That's just all it is to it. It's time. Time to be the big bad wolf. Yeah. It's almost too. Somebody was like, it, somebody's getting ready to get ran in on. This is like something that happened. Some, there's a staircase coming out, something under the house. This could be something in the basement. Something took place. Okay, we're not getting it. Yeah. Somebody wanted to break up somebody's family just so they could have uh access to somebody's child and their money or some some money here yeah so imagine like always trying to be you know always being in the energy of needing to get somewhere or be safe 
And when I started, you know, waking up to a lot of things that was going on around me, I refused to believe that it was the ones that it was. So I was still like, you know, still in the same city or still around the same little area or whatever. But it's like I kept a bag and I had spoke about this in one of my videos. Um, and in this bag, it was just like, you know, little band-aids and little wash rags so just stuff that you know if something ever happened i could grab and go and we could just leave you know and it's just unfortunate because when you start to put everything together and you realize that the way that you process going through trauma is is sad if you don't deal with it because even if you move into another home and say you know say it's what it is but if until you actually heal you still gonna always feel like I have to get away from something or something's still coming for me. You know what I'm saying? You need to know that these people are going to be mentally, spiritually, financially, everything checked when it comes to you. We are not living in the body of fear or a vessel even made for fear. You come from the most high. This is literally you are being used to call out everything that you've experienced because people have to have a, ba a breakthrough to get through whatever they've been going through. And they have this weird ass emotional attachment to their family and friends believing, you know, these are the same people that are going to save them. But when I tell you they won't save you, they will stab you. Okay. If they won't grab you, they will jab you. A lot of people are not who they say they are. And they only want you to be in a certain position because you have been quiet for so long. So know that when you are elevating or if you are moving forward or whatever you're doing to be your best self, you're not going to be able to be around these same people with, comfortably without thinking somebody's either going to break in your home or do something to your car, secretly do, throw spell work on you, do, you know, call your job, do some old weird random ass shit that these people have time to do. We don't even know how y'all have time to do the shit. But they do. They have time to create the most craziest narratives because no one has time to sit and think about the stupid shit that they think about. I'm telling you, the best scam of ever. But yeah, your desire for freedom is what's going to move you forward, okay? So somebody, once again, you are getting this new this new lease and it didn't require you to be out here like Batman or Robin. You didn't have to go out and, and do the most. You just had to experience that trauma because you had to see. You had to make that change. And I think with me, a lot of us have, have, have dealt with that because we'll be like, you know, I can't deal with this or I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do it. But when you actually experience that level of shit, I have to survive at this bitch. You will go before I go. Then you'll realize, okay, yeah, maybe I'm stronger than what somebody told me I was. Or maybe I'm stronger than what I ever felt. That is the power of God that you have placed within your vessel right now at this time. Okay, so if you need to use it to take a break and recharge and then take off, then that's what it is. Okay, but yeah, somebody was, somebody had a lot of plans with somebody else's whole life. This is, I mean, it's just crazy. Yeah, and then you got mama again. So once again, it's big somebody's mama. I, I, like, I'm so, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to hear that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People have, have, have recognized what they doing. And they have, have have found a way, but I'm telling you, you are being made aware on this channel. We don't push it. We push it past the bullshit. Then we push it past the limit. Then whatever limit was placed, we going past that. Like, it's just what it is. Somebody thought that they was just going to bully all the way through. And they connected to a lot of shit that got them spiritually unrested. This is somebody that can't eat, can't sleep, can't do anything. And this is only, this may be because of the trauma that they actually caused somebody else. It's crazy. Yeah, so you got a dark harvest. Somebody was doing a lot to harvest whatever this whatever this fruit that they thought that they was going to get. They did a lot of dark stuff. And, you know, regardless of how people feel about how people do their shit, you know, just leave people out of whatever it is y'all doing. You know, cut two, three, four, y'all own shit to the dark. That, if that's what y'all want to do. But don't try to do shit in the dark and then think it ain't going to come and, and make sure that we harvest everything that we supposed to this time. We're going to reap everything we're supposed to. So whatever it is, this is that your story, whatever you have experienced, this is for you to help others. And I said it earlier, you have phases for your testimony. The, th the different things that you've experienced, you could be 36 or this is just, you know, the age that you're going to be. Um, 
you know, start talking about it, helping others, because your story is unique. Something is different about your story. This is why it's your story. No one else can tell your story. No one else can tell your story. And when I tell you, it trips me out because I, I literally, you know, I was watching some of these readers, you know, months ago. And I'm like, you know, hey, it sounds like what she's saying is my story. But you would be surprised what bubble neck bitch would literally take your life story and go and speak about it to others to make herself look a certain type of way. Like, since when is it cool to, to have some type of struggle or some type of... When I tell you, if I if I had a great life, oh, yeah, people would know it. I would be proud to come from the, the certain type of uh, level of, you know, success or family, whatever. I would be proud to speak that story to give other people hope that, yes, that is out here. But if you are literally promoting somebody else's story, like you've been through the ringer or you've been through the fire or you've been through the box or the Bronx or anything, you had to fight your way and you know you have not done anything. <sighs> Y'all get ready to make a complete fool of yourself. Like, 